Hi, guys. Um, well, this is awkward. So, um, hi, my name's Krista. Welcome to my channel. If I have drinks spilled down me, it's because I had to take my mommy to a doctor's appointment and um, <laughs> I was thirsty and there was groceries in the back seat and I couldn't get it open. So I spilled it all over grape juice all over my shirt. So that's I'm a little flustered because I literally just walked in the door too. Um, I realized as soon as I hit go live that um, I was going to show you the paper coupons that I got early for this week, but they're in my car under all the groceries. So I guess we're shit out of luck. I'll just tell you about them because um, I remember some. My good old trusty brain. Anyway, in this video, we are talking about a couple different things. Um, the early coupons, which I think are quite important. The um, coupon deals for uh, this week at Dollar General and the five off 25s. Now, as you guys know, or don't, maybe don't, I don't know. Um, we typically go live on Saturday. Um, and I like to go in Dollar General and on my, the Penny List YouTube channel, um, and show you guys what I got. But we've been playing around with doing, last week we did a video on Friday. YouTube says you guys like Thursday videos. So we've just been playing around with it. Um, we also post the five off 25 breakdowns by Friday for pub for everybody publicly. The members get them earlier um, on Friday morning. Okay. So if you want to go to the website, thepennylist.com, you can see the five off 25 breakdowns and stuff that I'm going to show you in this video. Sometimes it's blurry on your screen. It's because of your Wi-Fi and YouTube settings. Um, they adjust it so you can see the video better. But there's some really good deals. Like everybody can get something free this week. The deals are so good. Leave me alone, William. We're going to stay monetized. We like making money, if you didn't know. Just putting that out there. There's a fly in here. It's because my window's open. There's no screen on the window. If you've been watching my videos for a couple years now, you know that this is an ongoing problem. Every single year, um, every single year I bitch about the the... the you know, the flies, the gnats, the moss that come in the window for me leaving the window open. You would think I would just buy a screen. I mean, Danielle told me to get a screen and staple it, but I just haven't done it. So if that's that you see things flying around, that's why. Uh, anyway, let's get to the point. And I was going to sing that song, but then I definitely will get demonetized and we don't want to do that. So... Uh, excuse me, I have to yell at my children. <laughs> Let me tell you guys what happened to me today. Somebody knocked on my door and was holding something behind their back. And I was like, so I opened the door and the guy asked if we wanted to sell a vehicle that is in my driveway. And I said, what are you holding behind your back? And he goes, oh, your package that was on your porch. Uh, I was going to give it to you. And then continued to ask me if he wanted, if I would sell the vehicle. And I shut the door in his face and my husband was home and my dogs were going crazy, which it blows my mind that this guy had the balls to come to my house even because all I had to do is just open the door and let my dogs fucking, you know, uh, have at it. But anyway. Um, yeah, so he was totally going to sell my coupons and probably get home and be really disappointed when he opened the package and it was coupons. <laughs> so be careful, uh, of, from people taking things off your porch. We got blink cameras and where I had, I had switched my, um, phone over. I hadn't installed it on my phone, but after that I went directly to do that so we could have the cameras activated again. Cause, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, if you don't have some cameras, definitely be on the lookout because people are already on the prowl. I, I was so mad. Like how do you have the balls? I mean, he was very obviously holding something behind his back. Anyway, 
So there's that. And by the way, I got my coupons early from BQ Savings. I linked it in the description box. A hundred people always ask me that question. So we put it down there before the video. So you could um, use my, it's an affiliate link. So if you buy coupons, I make a couple of cents. I don't make very much from that. So if you don't use my link, I really don't care to be honest with you, but um, I do like BQ Savings. So <clears throat> I get my coupons early every week. All right. Um, here's the deals at Dollar General. You'll notice on the screenshot, we have the store, which is Dollar General. On the other side of the screenshot over here, it says the penny list because that's our website, thepennylist.com. Um, lots of different things on there. Walgreens, Dollar General, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this Febreze plug this week with that Dollar General digital coupon and until October 2nd is going to be absolutely free. Actually, I think this deal started last week, not this week. Uh, I misspoke, but Really super good deal if your store has them. If you get a paper coupon that says free, a paper coupon. Now, this is different, separate from the digital coupon, okay? This one is $3 off the digital coupon. The paper coupon says something like get a free uh, Febreze plug warmer. Technically, Dollar General does not accept a coupon for a free item that do not require a purchase. Just FYI, if you get to the register and you have that um, problem. Some stores still will take them, but they're not supposed to. And knowing that, um, I wouldn't get them in trouble knowing that they, that's what I believe personally. People blame it on people who misuse coupons, but I think things like that um, are actually more of a problem. Anyway, moving along. Um, if your store has the dollar can of Airwick, then some cents are attaching, making them absolutely free. Not all cents are working, but this is a nice little freebie for everyone. This coupon does not expire until November 13th. So your immediate store that you go to might not have the free Airwick, but try your other stores because um, that coupon doesn't expire for so long. Just make sure you clip it to your account. Either way, a dollar off, great deal. You can scan the Airwick's barcode if you find it in store to see if the coupon attaches in your Dollar General app. It will show you if it does right at the bottom of the screen when you scan the item. This is a really good deal. So we're already um, on the third item you know, the third screenshot, however you want to look at it. And we've only spent 20 cents. So there's just lots of really good deals this week. And that's what I want you guys to realize. So you clip those digital coupons in your Dollar General account before they disappear. I hear that these Snickers brownies are very good. They're regularly 95 cents. They're on sale this week. Buy one, get one. So if you have the 75 cent off digital coupon, and I believe the digital coupon is off of two, uh, and then the Dollar General store coupon, which is buy three, get one free, you can use the sell and both of those you know, digital coupons because one's a store coupon, one's a manufacturer coupon all together. And you can get four of the Snickers brownies for just 20 cents which is an incredible deal and super awesome for your five off 25s. Um, so really important. If you don't like the Snickers brownie or maybe your store doesn't have it, you can also get these uh, regular Snicker bars. They're regularly 50 cents each. They're the little 100 calorie bars. Um, you can use the 75 cent off two digital coupon and you'll pay just 25 cents for two. Again, that coupon does not expire until October. So clip the coupon, please, for your own good. Um, these Airwick warmers are $1.65 each. We have two different $1.50 off coupons. They expire different dates, as you can see there. So if you buy one, use the coupon, you'll pay 15 cents at the register. Really great for your five off 25 again. Um, <clears throat> but you might run into the problem of your store running out of these. Oftentimes when we get the Febreze or the Airwick warmer, my store runs out of them, but I still clip the coupon in case I find it later. And if you guys don't care, please give the video a thumbs up. Just a little like. See, like if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Um, so helps the video. So I don't care which one you do, frankly. Uh, or if you don't do either, I really don't care either. But um, if you have this dollar off one Airwick 
coupon. Uh, you can buy the $1.65 warmer, use the dollar off coupon, and you'll pay just 65 cents. The problem here, if you haven't noticed, is this is also that dollar off coupon I showed you that works on the dollar Airwick sprays. Well, let's say we clip both of these dollar 50 off digital coupons and the dollar off digital coupon. You might get to the register and this coupon come off instead of the other two. Um, it, it used to be the highest value coupon comes off first at Dollar General, but they changed their system and it no longer works that way. It does seem to be um, most of the time, at least the first digital coupon that you clipped will come off of the, uh, total. But also I've noticed, um, just for myself, if I scan an item, are they trying to tell me something? If I scan an item with my Dollar General app, um, it will show you the coupons that match that item. Most of you know what I'm talking about, hopefully. I've noticed the one that comes off at the register first is usually the first one that shows up. So if there's a list of three, the first one's probably going to be the one that comes off at the register. So if it's the dollar one first, you're probably going to know it's going to come off first. Okay. Um, and I've just happened to notice that. I... I'm going to have to pick some of these up because my sweet little doggies uh, love some doggy treats. And you may be able to find some of these on clearance. Um, the certain flavors of the Alpo T-Bones are on clearance. I found them even after the clearance sell at my local Dollar General on a clip strip in the dog food aisle. Um, and I just had been looking at them the entire time and not realize that they were there. So if you can find those, boy, that'd be a smoking hot deal. They'd probably be a moneymaker actually. Um, but if you just find the regularly priced ones, which most of us will find the regularly priced ones at a dollar 35 each, we can use this dollar off coupon making your final cost just 35 cents. Next, we have these Alpo variety snaps. Maybe you prefer to get these or your doggies like them or whatever reason. These are $1.85. You can use that dollar off digital coupon. It's the same one I just showed you on the other breakdown and pay 85 cents at the register. The Bic Silky Touch One razors and the Bic Sensitive razors are $2.85 each. They work with this $2 digital coupon, making your final cost just 85 cents. Also, we're kind of on a roll here, you guys. Look how many we went through and we haven't even gotten to the dollar ones yet. That's next. Um, <clears throat> so if your store don't have these Bic razors, you might want to get these instead. Or maybe, um, you know, like when I'm doing a five off 25 on Saturday, sometimes I'll prefer to get the um, packs like these because it's better... Uh, at least in my mind, for the 5 off 25 to have like a, a even number. So I don't have to buy a whole nother, you know, item to add to my scenario. So anyway, these are $3 each. It's the Big Dulce or however you say that, Big Deuce, Big Deuce. Look at me trying to make that word so complicated. And the Big Silky Touch Razors, these are $3 each. Use coupon, you'll pay a dollar at the register. Still pretty darn good. Um, these little tone these are, I believe, like conditioner for your hair. Dollar General actually used to sell them for $3 each, and then they got discontinued and moved to the dollar aisle, which is interesting, right? Um, <clears throat> so anyway, some stores have them in the regular section for a dollar, but I, I've seen them in the dollar aisle as well. So they're a dollar each. We have a dollar off two digital coupon. So it makes your final cost $1 for two or 50 cents each. Um, so that's pretty good for your scenario as well. These little dial, these are travel size body washes. They're $1.50 each. Lori put down at the bottom of the screenshot in case you can't see that travel size. Um, so you'll buy two, use the coupon and you pay $2 for two or a dollar each, which is still pretty good. Um, right now we have a five off three Colgate digital coupon. It does work on the Colgate toothpaste that are a dollar seventy-five regular price. They're on sale right now, and for a while, two for three dollars. So if you buy three, 
um, that would be $4.75. Use the five off three coupon and you'll have 25 cents overage at the register. Next, we have this uh, Nine Lives Plus Care Cat Food. Um, it's a dollar and 10 cents, which is such a weird price for Dollar General. I don't think I've ever seen another item that was a dollar and 10 cent regular price at Dollar General. Do you guys know of any? If you do, let me know. But anyway, we have a dollar digital coupon uh, making your final cost just 10 cents. We still have this still going on on the Suave Lotion. Hopefully you have all of those digital coupons available. I personally do not have the $1.50 off Suave digital coupon that we have pictured here, but uh, Lori did. So just double check your accounts and make sure that you have the digital coupon, of course, before you do any deal. Um, but these are $1.95 each. If you buy all four, you'll pay just $1.30 at the register, assuming that you have all the digital coupons. Even if you don't have the dollar fifty off, it would still be a really good deal. Next, we have the Febreze car clips. These are three dollars each. We have a dollar digital coupon. <clears throat> um, you can get the Welch's juices. It has to be a very specific one, though. I looked at when I was in the store the other day. It has to be a cocktail juice. That's what it is. I, we don't tend to like the cocktail ones, but you guys might. Um, these are regularly $2.50. There's a dollar digital. So that, of course, will make your final cost just um, $1.50. So next, we're going to do the five off 25s for Saturday. These are Saturday only from right now on um, just FYI. Uh, I do like to show you the individual items first because if you get to the store and they're out of some of these items in our scenario, you can replace them with some of the items that we showed you earlier in the video, ideally. So you can still have a very low out of pocket and you know some additional items that you can substitute in. So um, with this scenario, we have these pictures that show you how much you'll pay out of pocket, what the subtotal would be, which is $25.20, all the Dollar General digital coupons that you'll need. And then we also create a little screenshot for you um, so you can have the written breakdown. So if you buy one kitten caboodle, 11 pound at $8.95, sorry, the dogs are about to bark, Purina dog food. It's okay. Purina dog food at 14 pounds at $9.95, two Airwick warmers at $1.65 each, the Febreze warmer at $3, your subtotal would be $25.20, use all of those digital coupons and you'll pay at the register um, $10.70 plus tax, but that one's actually really high compared to you know, like this breakdown where you're getting way too much Colgate than you could probably use in a year. Um, four of the Snickers brownies, the um, <clears throat> Febreze plug, and both of the Airwick. And as long as you have all of those digital coupons, the six off two Colgate, the five off three Colgate, two off one Crest, three off one Febreze, the Airwick coupons, the Snickers coupons, you'll have $2.15 overage at the register. Now, it's really important to note Dollar General allows overage. However, you have to apply the overage to other items that you're purchasing. So they cannot physically pay you. You just need to buy something else and add it to that transaction. Um, the really awesome thing about overage at Dollar General and most other stores that give overage, to be honest, um, the overage will also apply to your tax. So if um, tax is really high in your state, like it is mine, um, it would probably be on an order of $25, like a dollar in my area at least, probably like a dollar sixty. So I could probably add a one dollar item and do this scenario just fine. Um, just to let you know. So you can have an idea of how that's gonna happen for you as well. But obviously tax is different in every state. So it might be a little bit different when you get up to the register, if you can find those exact items. Now in this scenario is a little bit different. We have some razors. Um, so the Bic, two different packs of Bic razors, the Gillette razor, uh, the Eucerin lotion, the Colgate and the Febreze plug. Um, the uh, subtotal is $27.90. You'll use all of those digital coupons and then pay 90 cents overage at the register. Uh, Bambi, thank you so much um, for the super chat, by the way. I um, miss you too. I hope you um, get back soon, girl. 
Uh oh, what I do? And here is the written version of that. By the way, uh, if you missed it, I did say earlier in the video, um, in case these are blurry on your screen, we do post them as well on the website, thepennyless.com. I'm not sure if they posted them yet or if they'll be on there tomorrow, uh, to be honest, though. Um, this one is really good. Now, this one, you're going to get that five off 501 PNG coupon on the bottom of your Dollar General receipt. I thought I had one right here. I think I do. So, um, when you spend 15 out of pocket on PNG products, you get these on your receipt and they're really easy to miss and throw away because they come on the bottom of your receipt. And if you're not expecting it, uh, you can easily throw this away, but it's $5 off your next purchase of 501 or more. So if you do this transaction with the Febreze wax melt, the um, big old pack of 16 count Charmin toilet paper, the Crest toothpaste, Febreze plug and Febreze uh, spray. Um, the total, the subtotal would be $30.50. You'd use all those coupons and pay $15.50 at the register and then get a $5 coupon on your receipt for your next purchase at Dollar General uh, with an expiration date, of course. But $10.50 final cost for this scenario. Uh, for that toilet paper alone, let's look and see how much it costs because I can't remember exactly. S the toilet paper alone is $16.95. So if you pay out of pocket $15.50 and then get this $5 off any $5.01 purchase, it's essentially like paying $10.50 plus tax, of course, don't forget that, for a $16 pack of toilet paper and getting the rest of the stuff free, which is amazing. Um, I just recommend if you guys get these on your receipt, $4 general, that you don't use them with your five off 25. Just in my experience of making videos and helping people coupon and stuff on YouTube, um, people get really confused when we if it, to try to add these in. So I would just use this on its own. If you need something at Dollar General throughout the week, I always buy Monster Energy drinks, usually at Dollar General too, because it's usually the cheapest place to get them. So I just save these and, and use them for that. Um, or if I need toilet paper or something like that, um, I'll use it for that as well. You can use coupons with this, but the subtotal has to be $15 in order to get this on your receipt. Now, a lot of you might run into the problem of you getting to the store and they not be, you know, they, they might not have the Febreze uh, plug warmer that's free right now. And if they don't, and you're trying to do this particular scenario, just make sure you replace the item with another PNG item. If you don't know what PNG items are, go to Google on your phone and type in, PNG items and it will show you some of them. There's tons of them in several different categories in the store. I'm sure you'll find something that you need or want um, by, by just doing that. Okay. Here is another scenario. This one I am definitely going to do. Uh, we didn't write this on the screenshot. However, if you have Fetch Rewards, um, there, I personally have fetch rewards and I was checking my account today and there were lots of, <clears throat> um, rebates on the Scott and Cottonelle. So the, the only problem is a lot of the, um, fetch rewards vary by customer. So, if you do that deal, make sure that you upload your receipt to Fetch Rewards. I'm going to give you my referral code here. Uh, just a second. It's very easy to get to. My referral code for Fetch Rewards is VN4XE. Uh, so make sure you use the referral code if you do that. But here is the written version of that. Um, you buy the Cottonelle to Scott. Uh, the Scott paper towels. Those are all $5 each, by the way, the three Colgate toothpaste. It's a three pack of Colgate toothpaste or no, I'm sorry. It's not. Sorry. I take that back. The three Colgate toothpaste, $1.75 each. They're on sale two for $3. We talked about those earlier. Two Colgate max toothpaste 
at 275 each on sale two for five. The Febreze warmer, your subtotal is $34.25. There is a instant savings on the Scott and Cottonelle. Spend 20, save four instantly at the register. You don't need a coupon or anything to get that. It comes off automatically at the register. Use your five off 25. You'll get that four off 20 instant savings. There's a dollar off Cottonelle, five off three Colgate, four off two Colgate, three off one Febreze. Um, and you will pay at the register $11.20 plus tax, which is obviously amazing for all of that toilet paper. I will do that deal. I love the Scott paper towels. I prefer the Viva ones that are like cloth, but um, aside from those, because they're really expensive, I buy the Scott. I usually hide the Viva ones so nobody else can use them in my family and um, let everybody else use the Scott, to be honest. Uh, they'll get over it. I'm the one that shops for it, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. Um, so I'll probably do that scenario. Now we're going to leave Dollar General for a second and go to Walmart. And I may still post some of these as short videos on my other channel, but these are really good. So I had to tell you about it. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I got my coupons early um, this week. Coupons don't come out till Sunday. Today is obviously Thursday and I got them uh, earlier today. <clears throat> Did you see that fly in front of the camera? That was wild. Uh, so this, because I got my coupons early and this happens a lot for me getting my coupons early. Um, a lot of the times we'll get our coupons right and then deals will expire right before we get them. And then you're like, damn it, if I would have had this coupon with that deal, I could have done really great. Um, but that's the benefit of getting your coupons early. Um, and if you don't know, I said it, it, it's in the description box where I get my coupons from. So we've seen this uh, deal at Walmart where you can get the Revlon lipstick absolutely free. So you go ahead and you buy a $5 Revlon lipstick and some of them are a little bit cheaper than $5. Um, so you go ahead and pay out of pocket at the register, snap a picture of your receipt and submit it to the I bought a rebate app. And then you get the money back. This does expire September 17th um, at 1 p.m. So we got a little bit of time to do this. So go ahead and clip those offers to your Ibotta account. Because if you don't clip them, a lot of the times they will also disappear. So make sure you clip them. Um, and if you don't have Ibotta, you can use the referral code VPYQSPR. It's on the screenshot there for you. Um, but anyway, so you snap a picture of your receipt. They give you the money back in your Ibotta account. But when I got my coupons today, there is a $3 off Revlon lipstick paper coupon in those inserts. So this is now going to be a moneymaker because you can buy the Revlon lipstick, pay $2 and, you know, probably some tax out of pocket and then get $5 back from Ibotta and your final cost is a $3 moneymaker, you know, minus tax, of course. So there's also other free items available right now at Walmart. Um, so check your Ibotta app. I'll show you some more here in just a second. This one is also at Walmart. It's the Chips Ahoy cookies. They're $2.74 each. Sometimes they're like $2.69 too at my Walmart. So your price might vary just a little bit. Um, so you're going to go ahead and buy two. Um, use that. I bought a rebate and it's a buy one, get one free offer. So you'll end up paying about $2.74 for two, which is still pretty good. Um, we have another free offer. This is the uh, Life Waters. We get these kind of free uh, every winter, I feel like, or fall or whatever. It's not winter, but you know what I meant. Um, these are $1.58. So you'd go ahead and pay out of pocket, snap a picture of your receipt, and get the money back on the I Bought a Rebate app. The Hormel Pepperoni uh, is also free. So this says the Hormel Hot and Spicy Pepperoni, 3.5 ounce only. I wonder if you can get the regular one too, because I don't want high, hot and spicy pepperoni. I'm going to look on my Ibotta account. Um, but anyway, that'll be absolutely free after the offer. Uh-uh. So, um in store. Yeah. Oh, wow. They did add that to mine as well, Lori. We're talking about today. Hold on, Ray Red. 
No, it does have to be the hot and spicy one. Darn. I also get it and just not tell the kids and sit back and watch them eat it and wonder why they're acting like their mouth's on fire. Um, a couple more. We're going to go back to Dollar General, and I know we're kind of bouncing all over the place, but when we add pictures to the video, blah, blah, blah. So just deal with it. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Suck it up, buttercup. All right. Back to Dollar General. There are some paper coupons um, coming out for degree as well in the new paper coupons, by the way. Um, that I got today. But in the meantime, if you'd like to pick up two of the degree deodorant that are $4.35 each, we have a $3 off $2 general manufacturer digital coupon and a two off $6 general store coupon. So you can use both of those coupons together. Um, there is a, I bought a rebate that is a dollar back on any degree most, most, most bleh, motion sent deodorant, I think is what it says. And that is a limit of three. So you can get $2 back total from the Ibotta rebate app, and that will make your final cost, um, you know, just $1.70 for two, which is awesome. There's also a rebate on coupons.com available for the degree. Um, and degree is Unilever, which is a Fetch Rewards brand. So if you take a picture of your receipt, submit it to Fetch Rewards, you will also get at least some type of points back for the degree. However, I would encourage you, um, unless you have a special offer for Fetch, not to upload your receipt, um, your offers, the less, the less receipts that you take a picture of, the better your offers are on Fetch, in my opinion. Um, today, I, ha I haven't used my Fetch account for a little bit because I got the new phone. And I just hadn't switched it over. And um, I had a $1.50 back, or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, $1.50 back, 1,500 points back on any receipt that I take a picture of. So the less you use it, in my experience at least, the better off it is, you know, for offers, which kind of sucks because I wish the rebate apps would reward us because I bought it does kind of the same thing with their bonuses. The more you use their app, the you know less good your bonuses are when they should be rewarding us for using their app. They're kind of rewarding us for not using their app. And I, I don't know if they're intentionally, I mean, I definitely think they're intentionally doing that to be honest. Um, but I don't know if they think that we're not smart enough to catch on to that, but it's, it's, pretty blatantly clear to me that that's what's going on. I shit you not. Fetch just sent me a notification. They're stalking me. <laughs> you can still pick up points on Labor Day Grocery Haul. Snap your receipts now. Maybe they heard me talking about them. Uh, this still ends um, on... Saturday. It's an online deal. You get a hundred percent cash back at office depot online for batteries. We posted it on the website, thepennyless.com. Uh, definitely do that deal. There's no reason for you not to. Do you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, compliments? Do they send you the gift cards for fetch in the mail or can you redeem them right there in store? Most places you can redeem them in store. I use mine um, at Walmart from my phone. Um, the only ones that I know that they'll send you or they used to, honestly, I haven't looked in like the last couple of months so they could have changed it. And I don't even know, but used to, you could get the visa gift cards mailed to you, but they cost more points if they have to mail them to you. So if you're, you know, good at technology enough to get the gift card sent to your phone in your Fetch app, and it also goes to your email, then just do that. And most places will just scan it right from your phone. I know Walmart does. That's usually where I redeem my Fetch things at. And um, that's usually just, I go ahead and get a gift card for Walmart. Cause I know at some point I'm going to be at Walmart again soon for groceries or random stuff or whatever. Th Wanda says it's $3 extra if you get them mailed. So that's kind of a lot when you can just have them scan it on your phone. 
And in the Fetch Rewards app, they actually keep up with the gift cards for you. So if you uh, aren't good at, you know, organizing things like somebody else we might know, um, you can just go down here to the bottom where it says rewards and there's two different tabs. There's a, uh, my rewards tab as well as a use points tab. And you can just click on my rewards and see every gift card that you've ever gotten. And you can also remove them off there too. I've gotten a lot, haven't I? That's how much we use fetch. Anyway, uh, please give the video a thumbs up and um, <clears throat> all that good stuff. I will see you guys on Saturday, I think on my YouTube channel, The Penny List. So if you haven't subscribed to that channel, make sure you do that. <clears throat> you can get a physical card from Fetch, but they send you 47 instead of 50. If you get it, yeah. All right, bye guys.